Well, she may not be the betting favorite here tonight, but there are a lot of people out there that believe this number one Bantamweight contender is the best 135-pound fighter on the planet. And at long last, she gets a chance to prove it. She has told us constantly, anytime you are within range of her voice, she will tell you, I'm the best, I'm the champ, give me an opportunity. She gets that opportunity. And she has lived this week as if she believes everything that she says. She has been sure. She has been confident and that is all rooted in her preparation, which to everyone that knows has been tremendous. And both champion and challenger have a lot of skills, but this particular contender believes this is the best matchup for her in this top five. We'll see if she can dethrone the queen. Well, the Hall of Fame night is going to come probably in the not-too-distant future, but Amanda Nunes showing no signs of slowing down. Won her title back against Juliana Pena midway through 2022, and yet another title fight for the Lioness here tonight. I'm going, John. When Amanda Nunes goes into the Hall of Fame, I'm going. Wow. I got to be in attendance. She is that special to the sport. She has elevated female fighting with her performances and her dominance. And that win over Juliana Pena showed that even in her darkest hour, she is still the best in the world. But tonight, she has another challenge ahead of her that she has to try and get through to once again add to the legacy that she has built so far ahead of anything else we have seen. Right, and most pundits believe that when Amanda Nunes is focused and in the gym, she's the best 135 or 145 pound fighter in the world. Oh, 155. Yeah. <laughs> Female fighter, no, she's as right. good as anybody. And she will look to prove as much yet again here tonight. All right, now let's get you the tail of the tape for this women's bantamweight championship fight. The veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <clears throat> one just about Ready. to get underway. Good. All right, so as we get this stand-up only fight underway, just a quick reminder on the rule set, no grappling or wrestling of any type, and fighters also cannot follow up with ground strikes on the canvas. So if you knock your opponent down, you cannot follow up with strikes. Very important to point that out here at the beginning of round one. Pretty good head kick there. That was a big check. Early action here in round one, and this kickboxer does not discriminate, constantly changing the speed and the tempo of her strikes. Blasted one to the midsection there. I mean, that body shot really does hurt. Whether it's a punch, it's a kick. But you do generate more power when you're throwing your entire bottom half into an attack. She has got to continue blasting these body kicks. Just a slip there. Nice job by her there to block those shots. When you first go to a boxing class, the first thing they say is glue your guard to your face. Her guard's high tonight. Her guard's high, and she keeps the elbow down. She does a great job of blocking the top and down low. Leg kick lands. 
What a great job getting that kick to the target. She missed with that jab. Pennington gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. It looked like maybe she was going to set up the side kick, and there it is. She did it. Oh, she's in a world of trouble now. Oh, with authority, the body. Nice crack there. Defensively, there to block the strike. She's got to keep pressing if she wants to finish the fight. Oh, just out of range with that right hand. Oh, nice jab by Nunes. Wow, strong roundhouse kick there. We now go inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 54 seconds of the very first round. We're playing the winner by knockout. And still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Amanda the Lion. I mean, that was just insane. We look to our left, see the, re see the reaction from Dana White and Hunter Campbell. Amanda Nunes by knockout. Don't need no judges more often than not when she fights. Most times, that is the case when it comes to the Lioness. She does it. She goes out there and she dominates. And once again, she shows that the power that she possesses is second to none.